What do you call a bicyclist in Pennsylvania? Gee, I don't know, but he's going to be a hood ornament in a second. Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me today and today I want to talk to you about bicyclists. Bicyclists are a very special creature. Here's my stance. The roads are for the public. The roads provide the ability to travel within states, between states. Everybody has a constitutional right to use the roads for transportation. Okay, what transportation you use, that's a different story. You know, you, you have a car, you need to be licensed to use a car. Driving is a privilege, not a right. Motorcycling, if you want to use a motorcycle, you need a license for that. If you want to drive a big rig, you need a license for that. But if you want to have, you know, a horse-drawn carriage, fine. If you want to have a bicycle, fine. And this is very important for drivers and bicyclists alike. What is very important is to share the road. See, human beings are very self-centered, just naturally. Okay, you are the main character of your life. So it is understandable that cars or drivers feel like they own the road, they have the right of way, so on and so forth. And bicyclists feel like they own the road and that people should yield to them and so on and so forth. Okay? And I just wanted to talk about this and, and the little conflict and I just wanted to make a few points and run this through you guys and see what you guys thought. Out here in Pennsylvania, not too many cyclists and the ones that I do see, they're not a huge problem at all. They're quite alright. Okay, some of them wear reflective little vests, but you see they have, you know, this shoulder and a lot of places have big ass shoulders and the cyclists tend to keep to the rightmost side of the shoulders. There are no space issues here, so there's no real issues with the cyclists. Now, in New York City, things get a little pushy-shovey, okay? And people get mad at each other. The thing is, bicyclists typically do not have a driver's license, and therefore they don't know how the roads work, okay? And since there are space issues in New York, there is not a lot of room for error, okay? In my opinion, either bicyclists should have a license in New York City or they should be made to use sidewalks. By using sidewalks, cyclists would be forced to, to obey the laws of pedestrians. They're just basically fast-moving pedestrians, okay? The advantages of this is that if a bicyclist were to go on a sidewalk, he would have to stop with pedestrian traffic and go with pedestrian traffic at the intersections as opposed to just running the red light, like 90% of New York cyclists do. Oh! They would be protected from cars. And you know, the disadvantage is that um, a pedestrian might, might walk out of nowhere and a bicyclist and a pedestrian might hit each other or that the sidewalks might sometimes get crowded. Okay? The thing is, if a bicyclist hits a pedestrian, the injuries are going to be nowhere as severe as if a car runs over a bicyclist. But that's just my opinion. New York is run by idiots anyway, so whatever. But there are a lot of issues sharing the road in New York, okay? Now, a lot of bicyclists in New York City are ignorant as fuck, okay? A lot of them ignore anything that happens behind them and they don't even look over their shoulders. They want to make a left, they'll make a left. They want to weave, they'll weave. They want to take up an entire freaking lane and cause like a freaking two-hour traffic jam they'll do just that another thing cyclists love to do is run red lights without even thinking about what they're doing or even looking many times I have seen a cyclist just right through the intersection when cars were coming idiots and another thing that really bugs me about cyclists in New York the fact that a lot of them don't have proper illumination a lot of bicyclists will think they have a little reflector in the front and a little reflector in the back that they're perfectly safe, but no. I think at a minimum, 
you should have a flashlight in the front of the bike and a red flashlight at the back of the bike, okay? Because there's just so many cars in New York City and this is just the way cars work, okay? There's a white light in the front and a red light in the back and it makes you so much more visible. Many times I've had cyclists wear black clothing, no lights, in the middle of the night. This one time, uh, not too long ago, I was driving in a dark part of town in Brooklyn. Not By that I mean not too well illuminated. And there was a cyclist behind me to my right, okay? And I'm looking for parking. I find parking, I put on my turn indicator, I look in my mirror, I see nothing there, it's pitch black, and I start going in for the parking, and all of a sudden I hear, yo, yo, so I hit the brakes, and a cyclist goes flying by, and he's all like flipping out, and giving me the finger and shit, and I'm just like, well look, I'm sorry, but there's only so much I can do as a driver against stuff like this, right? I don't know. That's another thing that bugs me. Now, drivers are not innocent either, okay? It is very frequent in New York City for drivers to not give cyclists any space, okay? When I see a cyclist, I try to move into the next lane if I can. If I can't, well, I'll try to move into it as, far, as much as possible, give the cyclist space, okay? When you're making a left turn and there's a bike lane on the left side, always check your mirror and the bicyclist has the right of way. Many times I've seen a driver just bust a left and a cyclist like almost runs right into him. Bicyclist lane splitting is horrible, okay? You're doing what you're doing and you have no warning that this guy is riding your mirrors. I, I just can't explain it. A bicyclist, like you expect a bicycle to be either on the rightmost side of the road or the leftmost side of the road, and then every now and then you see a cyclist just you know jamming out with a with his, with his headphones and shit, just weaving in and out in between cars and moving traffic. <sighs> I I don't know. I don't like that. Good job, bud. In the middle of the road. So yeah, nasty habit of cyclists, no proper illumination, running red lights, ignoring surrounding traffic, oblivious to all laws governing streets, and feeling like they are entitled to every aspect of the road. Now where drivers go wrong is they don't check their mirrors often enough, they don't yield when they should. They don't give cyclists space and they don't respect cyclists. This one time I had a cyclist hit my right mirror and it bent forwards. Nothing broke, but I, I was like, come on man, why do you gotta touch my car? Oh, I caught up with him. This was in the GMC with the V8 engine. And I got kind of like next to him on the side-ish, but behind him. And I threw the car into neutral. And I gave it a big loud rev. Now this guy seized up, like he got like really stiff, he lost balance and he's like slammed onto the asphalt. That was so hilarious, I couldn't stop laughing. But goddamn, I was such a little shit when I was a kid, that is so bad. But you know, as drivers try to give cyclists space, but as cyclists, if you know it's a tight squeeze, please respect another man's investment some people spend their life savings on a car and to have it fucking dinged up by cyclists where it like with, with the hand with the when when they hit a mirror or when they rub their handlebars against it or even at a red light i've had a cyclist once lean against my car like what the fuck what there's one thing you never do to another man's car and that's lay your hands on it like I said, a lot of cyclists don't have a driver's license. They never considered buying a car or anything like that. They never owned a car. You know, they don't know how easily sometimes it is to damage paint, how easy it is to dent something. Uh, they don't understand the bond some drivers feel with their cars. 
they lack that imagination or that thought or that perception. I don't get that. Some cyclists, they make so, they, you know, so much contact with cars for no reason. Something needs to be done about cyclists. They need to reevaluate themselves and the laws need to be changed a little bit. Because I'm, I'm all for cyclists using sidewalks. Because sometimes the roads are just too dangerous for cyclists as well. Sometimes the road will be so thin, there will be no place for a cyclist to be, you know. But in New York City, if you're a cyclist and you use a sidewalk, you get a ticket. And I think that's really stupid. Sometimes it's just too dangerous for a cyclist to use the roads. I feel like I missed a lot, but this is all that I have in my mind right now, it seems. So I don't know, I just wanted to talk about this and bring this to your discussion, maybe some tips for some of the people here and there and all that fun stuff. Eh? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe. Subscriptions help. They make me feel good. They make me feel good.